calamitous. But you know what? We have that endorsement here. As a matter of fact, we have the chief helmsman of the Minister of Youth and Sport Development. And he is here. Please, a round of applause as he comes out to say a few words. A round of applause for Honorable Minister of Youth and Sport Development, Senator John Enno. Wanna. He's from my mother's state, the state of Cross River. How are you doing, sir? I'm fine. Yeah, pleasure. Thank you. Hi. Just to correct, I'm Minister of Sports Development. Um, Let's, sir, you know I'm getting old. Let's read it. Oh, youth and sports development. I'm sorry, sir. Sorry. I apologize. Thank you. Um, the president of NFF, the former president, um, NFF Council Executive Members, our legends, our entertainers, our media people, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Let me start this speech by going to Ahmed Musa. May history be kind to you. May the verdict of history be kind to you. You know, we, in this little space, we are sitting with great legends of football in this country. I mean, sitting where I sat, and as the recognitions were being made, and they said, where is Motua Depoju? Where is this, where is that? In this room, we are privileged to sit with them. If they get out of this country, they've done more to promote the name of this country than anyone else, even than the government. So I need us to all give all of them that are here a round of applause. I was at the game in Uyo yesterday. I was in the M. Kirabiola Stadium some weeks back when the female national team played Ethiopia. You could count the few people that were in the stadium, both in the Abuja Stadium and in the Uyo Stadium yesterday. The crowds and the spectators did not and do not represent the passion that this game carries. Therefore, I'd like to thank the NFF and the executive board of NFF for putting this together. This is what, this is, what is hugely needed. Let's do it again. We can do it again. We will do it again. That's what it is. Let's do it again. We can do it again. Let's do it, and we will do it again. It's very important. There is no sport, there is no game without the fans, without the spectators. And there is no excuse. I mean, and I don't want to hear that. It's because entertainment has taken it. Our young men and women still watch football, but they watch foreign football. That's what it is. We need to get back the spirit of football followership. We need to get back the spirit of football spectatorship. And if you stretch it, we need to get back the spirit of sports you know, followership. You know, the government of President Asiwaji Bola Ahmed Tinubu was elected with the slogan of renewed hope. And I think that this campaign follows that slogan. The slogan is to renew our hope is to renew our belief, is to renew our confidence in the game of football and to see what role that football can continue to play in terms of, the, of our country. The current administration realizes and recognizes the power of football, the power of sports to unify our country, to inspire our men and women, countrymen and women, recognizes the potentials and the power that Nigeria can continue to play the role of leadership in the sub-region, in the region, and international politics through football and through sports. So I, and this government has already started on a good note. At the beginning, you saw me correct the fact that I wasn't Minister of Youth and Sports, I was Minister of Sports Development. This government realized too early 
the fact that sports was so significant and so strong a force as to have a ministry of its own. And I think that we need to ride on that crest. I think we need to ride on that crest. I mean, I'd like to praise, you know, the, give credence to the leadership that has been demonstrated by the current president and his executive board to think outside of the box and to come up with something like this. Nigeria is a great country with at least 220 million people. This campaign is about galvanizing all this number to be behind the Super Eagles as they go for the Cup of Nations in Cote d'Ivoire. What a great number it will be. And I think that I've listened and I've sat here and I've listened to the various, the content of this program and of this campaign. And what was going on in my head is the fact that we got a rich football history to turn this campaign to be a campaign like nothing else. In Christendom, you find people year in, year out, going to the state of Israel, to Jerusalem, on pilgrimage. In Islam, you find Muslims going every day, every moment to Mecca. That is because of the history and the story that has been built around these two countries. Nigeria has a great football history, taking our players one by one, and we can build a story around them. We can enrich this campaign beyond how much we have thought about it. We can make it catch fire, if you want us to say, to say like that. We can get every Nigerian, and that's what we should do, going into the Cup of Nations. This campaign may be about winning the Cup of Nations, but the hope of government and the people of Nigeria is this campaign will go beyond that, will get into other sports. There's also the World Cup qualifiers, which started yesterday. And like everybody has spoken, not a very good day. But yesterday is gone, isn't it? Today is a new day. Today is a new day. Let's make this campaign such that the players, as they play in the field, they begin to feel a sense of not disappointing the entire country. It begins to be for them something that is so frightening to lose because of the quantity of Nigerians that are backing this campaign. And I'd like to use this opportunity. This government came in and inherited a policy, the national sports industry policy. That policy promotes sports as business. That policy dwells on the issues of infrastructure, the issues of, let's say, how much you can give in terms of incentives and the issue of investments. We can turn this game. This game and sports has worked for other countries. Let's get it to work for our country. I'd like to use this platform to appeal to other private players, other corporate bodies to join this campaign, to commit and to devote the resources that this campaign needs to get it to move. The entertainment industry that is represented here, I mean, I attended you know, a forum on World Football Summit one of the presentations was on the combination and the relationship between sports, between football and entertainment. We may not have realized it yet as a country. This event and let this launch of this slogan campaign become for us the beginning point to that recognition. Not just winning the Cup of Nations, but it matters a great deal to the government and the people of Nigeria, that Nigeria is at the World Cup. We cannot afford not to be at the World Cup. We cannot. We cannot. And 10 years after winning the last AFCON, I believe that this is Nigeria's time. And we must grab it. And after winning AFCON and qualifying for the World Cup and other victories that are going to come, I believe that they will become the points at which we would have been able to re-energize our football and our sports. The government appreciates the enormous benefits of sports and what it can do for this country. Sports has been adjudged to be something that can change the world and that is changing the world. Sports, football, has been adjudged to be something that works better than government in terms of breaking racial barriers and boundaries. At a time 
of so much challenges that the country is facing, economically, so to speak. The present government is grappling with so much. Let us use this campaign and see how we can reawaken and inspire the Nigerian man and woman. Let us use this campaign as a basis, as a beginning point to getting our country back. And I think that my hope is that this campaign and the AFCON that is coming will become for us the beginning point to regaining back the leadership in terms of the continent's football and sports and getting to the international arena and showing that we are truly Nigerians. May this campaign, which will kick off today, become for us the beginning point for all the glories that we expect to achieve. And we'll be able to get everyone here, every Nigerian man and woman, boy and girl, to be part of this campaign. Let this campaign envelop the whole country. The government is part of this campaign. The government stands and supports this campaign. And we will do everything that we need to do to be able to give support to every sports initiative, including this and everyone else. Therefore, you follow me as we take this campaign. Let's do it again. We can do it again. We will do it again. Thank you and God bless everyone.